I'm back with another video. Today I'm going to do an unboxing of one of my favorite products ever. This is actually the first time I've purchased from them, but I absolutely love to watch Royalty Soaps create her beautiful soap creations. And every time I try to purchase, things sell out really, really quickly. So this time I actually got to purchase some of the things that I really, really wanted that were new. And then I was able to purchase a few things that were things that she had made not so recently. But um, due to this whole COVID-19 thing, anybody who knows anything um, about me or watches this channel, I uh, am a registered nurse. I see you are envious here. And this whole COVID-19 thing has had me stretched out like a sheet of paper. So this is the first opportunity that I've had to actually open my soap and look at it and be amazed by the wonderful creations by Mrs. Katie Carson at Royalty Soaps. So without further ado, in the famous words of Mrs. Carson, I am going to open my soap that I purchased from her probably in late February. So here is the package and I actually already opened the package and then I thought, well, maybe I could do an unboxing. So um, it came actually really quickly. I ordered it over the weekend and it came packaged very, very nicely. Everything um, looks like it came pretty much intact. Um, but I'm just going to bring this sheet of paper over here so I can sit my soap on because I am going to open it up so that I can smell it. It's cushioned really, really well. And I'm going to start with my first bar of Artisan Soap. This is the Royalty Soaps Wildflower, Wildflower Honey Artisan Soap. So here it is. It looks absolutely beautiful. And I can smell it actually through the packaging. And it smells so good. The label looks great. Everything that's in the soap is on here. The web address is on here. This is actually a 6.3 ounce bar of soap. And it has locally sourced honey. I actually remember this episode. I watched it um, when she was making it. And I see the little honey drizzle on the top and the honeycomb top and I don't think I'm going to open this one because I'm not going to um, use it first. I don't know. Maybe I will, but I'm going to go into the second bar that I purchased. Um, this is the Royalty Soaps Lavender Blossom Artisan Soap. This is one of Katie's classic and very popular high top soaps uh, where she does her famous whipped topping or piped soap on top. It's a beautiful uh, lavender and white swirl pattern and um, the same pattern goes through the high top of the soap with a beautiful lavender blossom on top and I think I actually see some little lavender buds um, on top of the soap and a little sparkle that she likes to spray on the top and it smells good too. So that's the second one. The next is probably the one that I was most um, excited about getting because this is probably one of my favorites since ever. And I remember her um, having a little bit of difficulty with this soap bar and I think she might have went back and revamped it, but it actually looks really, really good. The peaches look so amazing. Um, the colors are beautiful. Um, I see the little peach tops there, the little leaf on the top. It looks really, really pretty. I love this. Peach is probably one of my favorite scents ever, so that's why I was super excited about getting this bar. So I'm gonna sit that one there. And then last but not least, I actually had to go back and find this video because I missed it. Um, but this is the um, Royalty Soaps Ocean Flight Soap with the little um, red airplane embed in the top and the puffy clouds on um, her whipped soap and it's got a little bit of sparkle on the top. It's got like the ocean bottom, which I'm sure so it has some type of exfoliant in it. And then it's got um, an array of colors to represent the sea. Um, but it's actually really, really pretty. So I can't wait to open and smell these individually. The scents are so strong and so concentrated, not like overly powerful, but I'm not even sure which one I'm smelling right now. So I'm gonna actually have to open them individually. So here goes the 
wildflower honey soap and I'm not gonna do a lather test because then I would mess them up and I don't want to do that I think I'm just gonna open a piece of it they are so beautiful I mean literally absolutely gorgeous I mean even more beautiful in person than they are when I see her make them online and I immediately smell this bar soap and it smells so good um, see the little honey stamp on there it's so pretty I'm so excited and oh it smells so good wow it's a very natural scent it's not sweet at all I really really like that that smells good. Really, really earthy, really natural scent. Um, smells really good and that's the wildflower honey. So I'm gonna go on to the lavender blossom soap. Let's see. I don't know why I'm trying to open them so, so carefully. It's because they're so pretty. I remember when I first started watching um, royalty soaps on YouTube, I used to think like, gosh, nobody's going to even want to wash with those. They're so pretty. But then I started making my own soap and I realized even though they are gorgeous, even though mine aren't as pretty as Katie's, like you still use them because they smell really good and they do the same thing that any other soap does. They clean. So, oh wow, this one smells really good. As soon as you take it out of the packaging, you can smell it. So pretty though. Oh, very reminiscent of lavender, um, but very lightly scented, to be honest with you. It's not overpowering at all. It smells so good. The sparkle, the lavender buds, the pretty embeds on the top. I don't think she used the, um, the fragrance oil in the soap frosting. I'm pretty sure she didn't. But the soap bar smells, itself smells so good, my goodness. Okay, I think I'm going to save this one for last because that's the one I'm most excited about. This is the Royalty Soaps Ocean Flight Artisan Soap. And this is the one that I had to go back and find. Let's see. Oh, I think my little wing tip of my soap came off. It's okay. Because you're just going to wash with it anyway. I really almost don't even know if I want to use these to wash with. The soap frosting is so creamy looking. So pretty. That is absolutely gorgeous. In a minute, I'm going to have to come up close to the screen. And this is actually a layered soap. I didn't realize it looked like it was swirled almost, but it's a layered soap. The colors are absolutely gorgeous. They're all the way through. Oh, this one smells really good. I got to go back and look and see which scent she used for that. That smells really really good really fresh almost like a bar of soap like a deodorant soap that you would wash with like irish spring or something but it smells so good and then last but not least life's a peach this is my favorite i don't i haven't smelled it yet but this was the one i was most excited about getting and i'm going to open it up those peaches are so pretty until it's absolutely ridiculous and I remember I wanted to do a peach soap because peach is like my favorite scent ever and I couldn't find um, any peach embed molds like realistic ones so when I saw this video I was super excited because I saw this, the peach embeds and I can't I think it did like send me to where she got them from she had it um, underneath the video in the um, description section so it smells so good oh my gosh oh it's so lightly peachy it smells so good the embeds look so realistic i mean that is just absolutely amazing 
I am totally in love. I know I haven't even washed with them yet. I haven't even used them yet. I haven't even lathered them yet, but I know it's going to be so good. And I may eventually do a lather um, test with one of them, but I don't think so. I don't even think it's necessary. They're so pretty. They smell so good. They look good. I'm going to do a close-up of each individual bar here in just a second. Absolutely beautiful. I will definitely be purchasing soap from Miss Katie Carson again with Royalty Soaps. And of course, I am an avid watcher of her videos. Like I said, with this whole COVID-19 thing, I am stretched thinner than a sheet of paper. So hopefully when things slow down, I see you are envious, can get back to um, posting more videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. 